everybody calls me Banky, that's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Prime, man. We on the road trip again. We out here, man. We rolling. We going to Las Vegas, baby. Las Vegas. We rolling. We out here, man. Y'all can ride with me. I told you I'm going to take y'all anywhere I go. Let me see what we got going on here. We got Mama Pam. And we got my sister up there in the passenger seat and I'm in here riding shotgun back in the back of the road, man. I'm in the back of the bus. Y'all see what it is. It's Banky Prime, man. It's going down. We still on the road, man. We still on the road. We rolling. We rolling. Today is June 1st, which is actually my sister's birthday. So y'all say happy birthday to her TBP. Y'all see her. I ain't gonna tell y'all her age. She can tell you if she want to. Happy I birthday, am happy birthday. I'm forever 48. Okay. <laughs> How old? 48. <laughs> 48, she say, y'all, so that's what it is. It's 48. She is forever 48. You know, she my older sister, but she forever 48. You know, so hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all, y'all stay tuned, man. We on the road, man. All right, we getting ready to roll out, man. We getting ready to take off. We is actually on the plane. We is on the plane, so we getting ready to roll in a minute. See what's going on up in here. Hey, hey. yeah, we getting ready to roll out, man. B Tech, Virginia Tech, salute. TBP, salute. We on the plane, man. Get y'all when we touch down. When we touch down. Walking up in Vegas, man. Walking up in the Vegas for the first time. Las Vegas, baby. Coming through the town. Or whatever you want to call it. We are in Vegas. Smell different already. Smell funny. You do smell funny. Mm. Smell funny up in Vegas, man. Smell funny up in Vegas. <laughs> my sister said, like old oh, money. <laughs> what it smell like? Old oh, money. Uh, we up in Vegas. Don't smell funny up in here. I said, smell funny up in here. Pet said, smell like old oh, money. <laughs> oh, that's right, Pat. Oh, no, funny. Like we in Vegas, baby. It smells like grandma. We in Vegas. <laughs> grandma. Yeah. Oh, money. That's old money. Yeah, we up in Vegas. We up in Vegas, baby. Oh, sure. See what type of stuff. Has. So it's 10 o'clock. So it had, it's like one o'clock in the morning in VA. So definitely would have been past my bedtime. Yeah. What? I'm out and about. What a Vegas sign. Yeah. The, oh, they go to Raiders sign. We should go see about um, tour and there. Um, we gotta get a picture by this Raiders sign. Oh man. Hey, look. Oh, ain't no question I'm gonna take a picture by this baby sign. Get this picture. Hey. Man, I'm ready to call what's the name too. Cause you know, you know, you know, I gotta call old boy up here with the Raiders be hollering at me. Clearly fair, I'm looking for you, man. I'm out here, man. I'm in Las Vegas, man. Holla at your boy. Well y'all, I'm officially lost in Vegas. Went in here, used the bathroom, everybody left me. I don't even know where I'm going. They done left me in Vegas, y'all. 
Unfortunately, this trip was for my mother's 75th birthday and um, my pops got sick. He got real sick so my mom could not make it. But it's also my sister's birthday so we here celebrating for my mom as well as my sister. So Ma, love you out there. Had some fun for you and Pops. Get well soon. We out here. Oh, I see the culprits. I see the culprits that left me way down there. They don't even know if I could have found my way or not. Somebody could have kidnapped the old banky pound. But y'all know how to pull that Bethlehem out. And uh, they'd have been in big trouble. Big trouble. All right, we're trying to get an Uber. We're trying to get an Uber to where we going. We just almost tried to get hustled. One over 70, this man told me 120. And my sister said, no. So we're going with that. I ain't got to see the outside yet. So I don't know what's going on out there, but they tell me it's crazy. Watch that go mess with my nieces there. Make them get mad, they can't do nothing though. They're my nieces. Yeah, huh? She's trying to hide. She's trying to hide. Uh huh. She can't hide. She go to Virginia Tech. You see her everywhere. <laughs> go Hogan's. Lift your head up. Lift your head up. You supposed to say go Hogan's. You supposed to say go Hogan's. I did say it. You know, you supposed to shout it out with pride. Go Hogan's. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. They're gonna put that work in this year. They're gonna put that work in this year with them hoagies. Oh, I'm gonna be disturbing them like I don't know what on this trip, cause I'm gonna be all up in their face. All right, we're on the elevator, we're on the move. First day, first day, first day, where we going? Breakfast time. Breakfast time, we're going to breakfast. We're going to eat breakfast. Somebody say they're the big fish. I don't know what that is. Oh, That's who Earl, Earl Spence said he the big fish. <laughs> hey, boo. Hey. Yeah, we out here now in Las Vegas. Let's get it. We went online. Look at that good old waterfall. I don't know if y'all can see that waterfall. I'm gonna try to show it to y'all. It looks beautiful. You see that waterfall out there? See that? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get something in my stomach, though. I'm hungry, man. Hungry as a hostage. Man, everybody out here hustling, trying to get bitches for money. I said, y'all need to pay me. I'm making pound, baby. They out here trying to charge 40, 50, 80 dollars to take a picture with them. I said, no, thank you. I'm just enjoying the sights, darling. I ain't taking no pictures because I ain't got no money. They out here though, man. There's a lot of talent out here too. Somebody out here in Las Vegas. No bank plan. We working out here. Ain't that crazy? We worldwide, baby. We, we reaching the people. We reaching the people. Man, Vegas is crazy, crazy, crazy. 
Just had us up in here for two hours trying to give us a presentation, trying to make us buy a time shit. Then get upset and mad when we don't want to purchase the joint. Like we got to purchase it because her presentation was so great. Then y'all know I had to put that knowledge on her. I don't know she won't talk to no dummy. You know, who comes in a place and listens to somebody talk for two or three hours or two hours and then makes a $30,000 commitment, you know, for 10 years? Who does that? No, we have to discuss that. So, you know, they felt appalled that we would say something like that. But uh, y'all know I won't purchase it anyway because I ain't built like that. I don't have that type of money and I ain't got it. And if I had it, you still gonna have to do a whole lot more convincing than that just because you talk for two hours and now you want us to buy something. And it was appalled that we did not purchase this. So now we stuck out here waiting for to get an Uber to get on back over here to the hotel and have some Vegas fun, man. We ain't about that foolishness, man. We not buying nothing, man. We ain't falling for the banana and the tailpipe, man. We ain't falling for the okie kidoki or none of that. I ain't, and I dig you on sure we won't gonna let them fall for it. So, you know, that's where we at now. Yeah, the uh, Polo Towers in Las Vegas, y'all see. Yeah, man, they got that flim flammery out here, that tomfoolery, you know, that, that uh, skullduggery. Y'all know I told y'all about that already. Y'all need to watch for that stuff, man. Vegas so far, what I've found out so far, man, everybody out here conning, man, everybody out here hustling. So, uh, we gotta keep keep you keep your eyes open, keep your toes, keep yourself on your toes. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pam, man. I appreciate the love, appreciate the support, man. I'm out here in uh, uh, Las Vegas, man. Las Vegas trying to make it happen, man. Just having some fun, enjoying time with my sisters and nieces and aunts, man. Uh, big love to Mama Pam. She couldn't make it. Big love to my pops, he got sick out there, so Mama Pan had to stay home and make sure he was okay. So I talk to her every day, I call her, you know, been calling her all day, letting her know what's going on, letting her know, you know, how my day is going because, you know, this is my first time out here. <laughs> and it is crazy, the sights is out of this world, I'm seeing things I ain't never seen. You know, it's, 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 it's a wild situation, but, you know, it's an experience and that's what you come out here for. Everybody is trying to hustle somebody, man. Everybody is trying to sell some. They trying to take pictures for money. They trying to hustle you out of money. They trying to sell you this, trying to sell you that. You know, so it, it's just crazy, you know. I guess they look at you and, you know, they can tell that you're not from, you know, Vegas. And they, they, they come with their spill, their game and everything. And I just listen to them and I laugh and I smile. And I tell him I ain't got nothing, man. I ain't got nothing. I'm broke as a joke. <laughs> I'm broke as a joke. You know, nice try. Wrong guy. You can't get me. I ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing for you to get, right? So, uh, yeah, but it's just the sights and stuff is so beautiful. Uh, the food so far from what I've ate been mm, subpar. Nothing to, you know, make me go crazy or nothing like that. Uh, it ain't no pure deliciousness. I ain't tasting none of that yet. I was thinking I would, but I haven't. Um, maybe it's been my selections of what I've been choosing uh, to eat or, or what I've been picking off of the menu. But it ain't nothing just blew me away yet. I'm still waiting for that blow me away moment, you know, that pure deliciousness. So other than that, though, it's, it's been a great experience so far. To They want me to go zip line, and I'm a little scared of that. Y'all know about my height. My fear of heights, man. It, yeah, it make me choke up right there, but... They want me to go do it, then they talk about helicopter. I definitely ain't getting on no helicopter. They can forget that. They can talk till their mouth catch on fire. I ain't getting on nobody's helicopter. Uh, um, they we gonna go ATV riding tomorrow. Though. I wasn't gonna go for that because they asked for some astronomical prices. But you know, my sister said she got me, so hey, <laughs> that's my that's my best price right there. Free, <laughs> you know, free even Luther Johnson. So I'm gonna go out there and have some fun with my nieces them tomorrow on that. You know, um, we got some other stuff planned. We were supposed to take my sister out to eat for her birthday, but we got caught up in doing other stuff today and we're gonna do that tomorrow. Um, so hopefully uh, all of that goes well, man. Hopefully I get some of that vlogged in for y'all so y'all can see it. You know, like I say, wherever I go, y'all go, I take you with me. Um, it's been fun, man. It, it's just been amazing. Just to be out here, just to see the sights, to see the people, the uh, 
the excitement, man, the, the craziness, you know, they got people walking around out here naked, you know, on the street. So, you know, they walking out here drinking on the streets, you know, open containers and stuff like that. It's crazy how the laws is different in different places, but, you know, that's what it is. So, you know, that's how they live up here. They adapted to this up here. This is their lifestyle. You know, I'm just trying to fit in and just take in all the sights, man. I find myself a lot of times just sitting back, just watching and looking, you know, just absorbing everything, knowing that, you know, just, you know, less than two years, two and a half years ago, I was sitting in a cell, you know, wondering if I would ever have these type of opportunities, praying that I would have these type of opportunities to go places and to see things and to do things that I haven't been able to do, you know, and um, big love, big shout out to everybody still in that struggle too, trying to get out. You know, hopefully a lot of my brothers, you know, my comrades are going to get some liberation this year. Um, I'm praying on it. I'm hoping on it. But, man, it's an amazing thing to come from that situation to be in the situation that I'm in now. And that's just, when I say the situation that I'm in now, I just mean to be able to experience these things, to see these things, to go these places is amazing, man. It's just amazing because, uh, you know, at one point in time, this was an impossibility, you know. So I feel blessed and honored to be able to come out of that jungle, man, and um, with, with as uh, less scars as possible, you know, mentally, physically, and spiritually, and to be able to enjoy this life with my family. Like I always say, family first. So, you know, this was a family uh, vacation. This was a family thing. And I'm glad the first time that I got to experience Vegas, which I hope I get to experience it a lot more times in my lifetime. But the first time I got to experience it was with my you know, my sisters and my nieces and my aunt. So it's a beautiful thing, man. I want to come back out here with Mama Pam and make sure I, ex I experience it with her. I ain't doing no gambling. I ain't got it like that. So I ain't even test my hand. It would be nice to try to win some, you know, take a hunch and win a bunch. But, you know, <laughs> you know, you, you, you might try your hand and then lose a little bit you got. So, you know, what I always tell y'all, the best defense is distance, man, distance. So. I ain't gonna do that, I'm just gonna watch, look, enjoy myself, enjoy the sights, enjoy my surroundings. Uh, we may get in the pool, I don't know, it's, it's so hot out here, it's blazing out here. You know, so I may hit the pool. I don't know, man, I'm gonna try to vlog some more. I vlogged already. I'm gonna give a send all of this stuff to Hollywood Trail. Hopefully he'll put something good together for y'all, check it out. I appreciate the love on the vlogs. Um, I hope y'all like them, man. It's just me trying to incorporate more of my lifestyle with y'all. Let y'all see some of the people that's in my life. And um, just just trying to show you, man, um, that you ain't got to have a lot to have a lot of fun. You ain't got to have a lot to have a lot of fun. Just the freedom alone that a lot of people take for granted, man. There's a lot of people that don't have this. There's a lot of people that can't go to these places, can't see these things. They can only hear about them and dream about them and wish about them. So to be able to do them and to be able to share them with y'all is, is even that much more gratifying, man. I appreciate all y'all out there. I love y'all out there. Y'all keep on rocking with me. I actually ran into a dude. I'm out here in Vegas. You know, I ran into a few dudes, but I ran into one dude. He actually working out there. Just walked straight up to me and said, Mikey. I was like, yo, what's up? He's like, yeah, I watch your stuff, man. He said, man, keep doing what you're doing. Wah, wah, wah. And, you know, that feels so good. I told y'all, man, you, you know, if you see me, pull up on me. <laughs> Pull up on me, man. It makes me feel good to know somebody's watching my stuff and more more importantly, getting some out of it or sharing it with other people. That's what I want y'all to do. I want you to share with other people, man. Share with somebody who might got a family member that might need to hear some of this information. Share with somebody that you know that might need this information yourself. You know, just something to give them a little bit of insight of what's going on in this jungle, man, that we call prison. And, you know, hopefully it'll deter them from ever wanting to be a part of it. To ever want to be on the inside to do want to listen to it from the outside instead of ever being on the inside and having to experience that type of stuff because it's 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 a it's a horrible situation man it really is and every day man i think about the fact of what i came out of and i feel blessed just to be alive just to be around my family and just to be have some sense of freedom I'm still working on complete freedom i'm still trying to get off of parole you know, and once that happened, I think that would be a whole new revelation for me. That would be a whole new feeling for me. I think it would be the great, greatest feeling I've had since walking out of the gate, if not greater than. Because then I would feel like it's nothing that really got a hold on me, nothing that really, you know, is really trying to pull me back. 
you know, and um, that's that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm working towards. Hopefully, it'll happen soon. You know, I'm in good spirits. I feel like it will, and um, I'm just gonna keep on pushing forward, and no matter what. TBP all the way. We gonna take this thing to the moon. We gonna spread this message everywhere. I appreciate everybody out there rocking with me. I appreciate everybody showing love in the comments, in the likes, in the views. We out here, baby. Let's go, TBP. We on the move, man. Y'all be safe, be smart, make good decisions, and pray that now one of these crazy people out here in LA don't make me have to make them duck this up. Ah, ah. Big fight coming up this weekend too, man. Devin Haney, Cam Bosis. I'm on top of it. You know, I'm in it. I'm in Las Vegas. I'm enjoying myself. Y'all enjoy yourself. Be safe, be smart, make good decisions. Have some fun with your family, man. That's where it's at. Peace. Thank you special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure deliciousness, man. <laughs> My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family loves me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.